Only on 12 News at 10, an Ahwatukee couple feeling violated and scared after discovering burglars entered their garage, snatching several top dollar items. To make matters worse, one of the suspects was armed. Team 12's Bianca Bono spoke to that couple about their frightening ordeal. She's also taken a look at technology that police can use in cases like this to recover stolen property. That's my favorite. Newlyweds Kelsey and Jeff Ellis reliving their magical wedding day. They did the smoke bomb for the Halloween. But the celebration abruptly coming to an end just days after saying I do. It's like an invasion of privacy and space. After taking out the trash, the couple mistakenly leaving the garage door of their Ahwatukee home open. The next morning, realizing their accident, checking their security cameras just in case shocked by what they saw. A man and a woman walking right in. The man armed with a gun. Terrified. I don't think we slept for like a week. The burglars taking off with tools, sunglasses and cash. Items police say typically don't get returned. We don't have like serial numbers on things. They're just generic items that they took. It's stories like this one that inspired Sean Andreas to start his company, Protect DNA. We kind of created, you know, these new technologies that really simplify the process for people to, to secure their valuables and give law enforcement the resources that they need when somebody is a victim. Inside this packet, essentially it's DNA for your stuff. And you can see here, I've been given a unique ID, which we'll talk more about in just one second, but here's how it works. You open up the packet and take out the liquid that's inside, swabbing it onto anything of value to you. So today we're gonna be trying it out on my cell phone, my laptop, and my camera. And what the naked eye can't see are the microscopic dots inside the substance. So if any of these items are ever recovered by a police department using this technology, all they'd have to do is take a black light and run it over the property. Then they could take a closer look using something like a microscope. And remember that idea I talked about earlier? This is where it comes in handy. Once they take a closer look, they'll see clear as day that unique ID given to me, and they would know this property belongs to Bianca Bono. Arizona is now on our target board. As Andreas works on expanding his ProTech DNA technology to Arizona, couples like the Ellis's are hoping others can use their scary story as a lesson. Definitely double check your garage door. Just thankful they're physically okay. Materialistic things are replaceable. He's not replaceable. Bianca Bono, 12 News.